one energy is independent. It stands alone. Um, a lot of times they are unique looking. These are the people that like to be sort of originals. Lady Gaga is a one. So is um, Justin Bieber. Miley Cyrus. Um, yeah, it's independent. They kind of, you know, have their own drumbeat going on. They're not really followers. One has a lot of leadership energy. And a lot of ones are entrepreneurs. Um, they like to have their own company. They don't necessarily do well if they're working for other people. They they like to be in charge. They like to be the boss. Um, in a relationship, they've got to be careful that they're not just saying, I can do this all alone, right? And then they end up alone because they put that out there. Um, but yeah, one is is a starter. They're really good at getting people excited about their ideas. They're not so good at finishing things. That's not their forte. They're, they're the ones who just get everyone excited, get everyone on board, and then they prefer to sort of move on to the next. Okay. okay. Um, two energy uh, is very sensitive. These are the people that like to be in a couple. Um, a lot of times I see twos that have their next girlfriend or boyfriend, you know, lined up before they're yeah. actually right out of that other relationship. <laughs> they kind of go into the other. Um, they come in J-Lo. pairs. J-Lo uh, is a two. She's the marrying kind for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but two energy is very kind. They don't enjoy the spotlight. They're sort of more of the power behind the throne type. They would rather lead from behind. And they'll always try and smooth everything over and make sure everybody's getting along. Um, a nice way to look at the one and two is a, a really clear example. If you think of everyone born pre 2000, they all have a one in front of their year of birth. So 19, whatever we were told things like, if you're not winning, you're losing. If you don't do it, no one will like look out for you. Yeah. The fact that there was a one in the year, we already have that in our upbringing. And then starting from the 2000s, these kids are different. They're very different. Oh, Everyone yeah. That's a trophy. Like, yeah. There were no trophy. When you were winning, you were losing. <laughs> you yeah. Know oh, that's yeah, so fascinating. And they're very much about helping each other. And two heads yes. are better than one. Teamwork. And wow. you know, pre that, we were definitely raised with some very different Yeah, with competition. And, Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's so fascinating. So that's it. a good way to kind of really get a handle on the difference there. And so a lot of times you'll end up with a one and a two in your chart. And a lot of those people can be hard to figure out. They need to work harder at sort of staying grounded and being focused. So yeah, but two energy, um, a lot of twos have allergies. They're very sensitive. Um, someone like Teresa Caputo, Long Island Medium, she has three 11 twos in her chart. So she's got that sort of direct communication to the other side, very intuitive, very sensitive. Um, but overall, twos will always try and mediate things and make things smooth. A lot of them are psychologists, therapists, um, you know, that, that type of career tracks them. So you're saying, I mean, I understand this is the life path number, but when you're saying even if you have that digit in your birthday, it still applies to you in some way. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, for example, I have a two, I have a one, right? Yep. So <laughs> it all applies. It's okay. It does. Yeah. It just depends okay. where it shows up, how it will, how it will impact your personality or more your career. Um, yeah. So the three energy this is the one that really loves the spotlight and you've got that three birthday, right? So, but as a life path, these are people that, um, like Cameron Diaz, you know, she says that big smile and she's, you know, fills the screen. Um, but three energy rules communication. And so these people, a lot of times are writers, they're communicators, three rules, creativity, Van Gogh is a three. Um, and so, when you have that creative energy, it's important that you use it. If you don't have an outlet for it, these people can be incredibly emotional. So wherever the three falls in your chart, if it's there, you need to find yourself a creative outlet. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's all about expansion. Threes always want everything to get bigger. So if you if three is really easy to pick out in children because everything is like so big and so loud and you know um 
but they tend to exaggerate a little bit. They're also very good connectors. So threes are the people that always have a guy like, oh, you need some drywall done. My neighbor does drywall. Oh, you like my hair? Here's my hairdresser's card. Like (laughs) they always sort of, they're good at connecting people. And so when you're in three energy, which is about your timeline, I like it when people think of that connector as the universe and they really get out there and help the universe make connections for them. But we're not talking about that right now. We'll get there. (laughs) Um, Four is the number of foundation. It likes everything to be really sort of in the lines. If you think of the flow lines of a four, they're very sharp and sort of straight. Um, The name Karen actually comes out as a four. If you look, that's that's perfect. (laughs) <laughs> it does. It, like it's rigid, like, solid. Right. Yeah. That's, it likes that's rules. funny. It likes rules. Wow. It likes justice. It wants oh everything my to be fair. That's um, funny. But four four is very visionary as well. Um, but it it likes things to be sort of in order. You need fours Ooh. because they're the ones that write the policies and the procedures and make sure everyone stays in line and enforces the rules. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be easy to remember for me from now on. <laughs> um, five energy is the most sort of exploratory, I guess I would say. They are ruled by the five senses. So they want to taste, smell, see, touch, like hear everything. Um, they usually are people that would rather spend their money on experiences than things. <laughs> That's and me, for sure. A lot of times it's really hard for them to commit. So I always say the quickest way to get a five to break up with you is to ask them to marry you or move in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're like, gotta go. Um, <laughs> yeah, so the five, though, is really, um, it can be impulsive. You want to sort of guard against that. Um, and they can be very committed to the right person, but it has to be their decision. So if they feel trapped or closed in, that's where they get kind of cagey and start creating, I call it fake drama. It's like poke the bear, <laughs> create some fake drama. Yeah. Um, but overall, the five is about adventure and freedom. And I would say with a five, it's time to get out of your box, expect the unexpected. <laughs> And then six, sorry, six energy. If you think of the flow lines of a six, it looks like a little pregnant lady. Um, They are the nurturers. They're the ones that want to take care of everybody. Um, They often are sort of the ones mothering other people and being a little bit over involved in things that perhaps don't always involve them. (laughs) Six energy is ruled by beauty and love. And so I would say if there were no sixes, the world wouldn't be a very pretty place. So um, sixes are the ones that make sure everything looks aesthetically pleasing. A lot of them are teachers, therapists, psychologists. They're, they're very compatible with two energy. They're drawn to the same careers and things. Um, but sixes they either tend to have a litter of children or no children. So (laughs) it's one or the other. Um, But if they don't have children, they often have pets that they treat like children. So uh, they love their animals and animals love them. You can always tell if there's someone who has a lot of six energy because all the animal and they're like snow white, they'll just gravitate towards them. Interesting. Um, And they really love their, their home, their nest. That's always really important to them as well. Um, and there's a lot of creative energy with six as well. So they have to make sure they have some kind of outlet for that. Um, they, they're the ones who tend to find themselves on the phone a lot, counseling all their friends, doing all of that. (laughs) Yeah. Um, and then seven energy, seven is the number that, um, it's kind of reclusive. It really values its alone time. It needs that sort of quiet time. Nature and water will always recharge seven energy. So it's important that they have they have that outlet and they like things that are alive around them. Um, so they're the ones who have plants, pets, things of that nature. Um, seven energy is the investigator. They would prefer to ask questions than be asked questions. <laughs> so um, they tend to have a very intense private side. Um, 
but overall, they're very intelligent, they're very wise, and they never stop learning. They can't get enough information. <laughs> um, and then eight energy, eight is the one that's ruled by money. And you can put a dollar sign right over it if you think of the, the shape of an eight. Um, a lot of times they tend to chase their tail and go round and round. Um, Martha Stewart is an all-encompassing example of the eight. Um, they they tend to sort of make up their mind and stick to it. They can be a bit stubborn. So she decided she was innocent when she, you know, did that the whole insider trading thing. Um, she could have cut a deal at any time, but eights tend to learn the hard way. So she decided she was going to dig her heels in and, you know, ultimately ended up being found guilty and going to jail. You can't keep an eight down. They always have total and complete reversals available to them at any time. And so with that, she went to jail. She taught everyone how to bake and sew and made friends with all the inmates, right? Um, you know, got out of jail and just that complete, you know, reversal. She's back on top. She's taking sexy yeah. photos in the pool. She's, <laughs> you know, with Snoop Dogg. <laughs> You know, yeah, yeah. You can't hold her is, down. <laughs> you cannot. No, yeah. that that is the nature of eight energy. And mm -hmm. so what they have to guard against being hypocritical, um, they very much can be do as I say, not as I do. But at a high vibration, eight energy can be um, great leaders, have an incredible business intuition. Um, and really, they like to be in charge. And I always say if they're not in charge, they're going to pretend they're in charge. So eights don't always make the best employees, but they do make good managers. <laughs> so, yeah. And then nine. Nine is the number of the humanitarian. Um, they are more concerned about the for the good of all than any other number. Um, they're very, very smart. It's the old soul number. They have a lot of past lives, very intuitively gifted, and they tend to know a little about a lot. It's hard to stump a nine uh, to, you know, they always seem to be able to, to handle whatever you throw at them. Um, they can be overly generous, almost to a fault, and then they can regret how generous they are with others. But um, overall, they're just very smart. Um, they can... Their careers tend to be just where, whatever else they find interest in because they're really capable of a lot. But they also tend to find themselves in leadership roles. 